as a crash cam, you can blow it up. People are less scared of doing that than they are with a 30, 40, 50,000 pound camera. Okay, Simon, we're looking at the uh, micro studio camera, which has been off the market for a while. You guys brought it back. Why is that? People, yes, people will be really familiar with this product because there was a G1 version. This is the G2. Um, and every, every trade show we've done since we stopped making this camera, customers have come to our booths and gone, when's the new micro camera coming out? When are you going to make the micro again? And the reason for that is the versatility of this camera. One of the things you see straight away is that the camera body is the size of a tennis ball. And that makes it incredibly useful in, when you're shooting in confined spaces. If you wanted to have these on a stage, around a band, hidden within a set, it's very easy to disguise these and, and, and hide them away when you want to capture a shot where a big camera just would be impossible to use. The Micro Studio camera has been therefore upgraded and we've added a host of features to that. First and foremost, it's 4K, it's 12 gig SDI. It's controllable through all of our ATEM live production switches. So if you're using this camera in live production, it fits into that ATEM camera control, either through software or through our hardware camera control panels. Some of the additions that we've made to this new G2 product is we've added things like a full-size HDMI connection, so you can take a feed directly out of that. It's got SDI in and out, and that gives us the camera control from our switches. But I think the opportunities of this are much greater than just studio use because we now, over the USB-C connection, could add an external drive and be able to call, uh, record Blackmagic RAW. So you can imagine these in cinematography situations where people use them as a stunt camera or a crash camera. Be you, know, you can fit those easily in a car on a dashboard. They're easy to mount to the front of vehicles. And so we've seen them on body suits. We've seen people jump out of aircraft and, and parachuting with one of these on. And I think that you know, this is a camera that costs under a thousand euro. So as a crash cam, you can blow it up. People are less scared of doing that than they are with a 30, 40, 50,000 pound camera. Um, and of course, as I say, it features all of those uh, same features as the Micro Studio did previously, but more. So we've added more to it. And I think that, you know, people have generally, when they've come here to the booth, have gone, great. We wanted this camera back. We're so pleased for you to have upgraded it because it is just so versatile.